Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video we will learn how to calculate the value of kinematic indeterminacy of a frame. First we will learn what is kinematic indeterminacy. Kinematic indeterminacy is defined as number of unknown joint displacements or degrees of freedom which are required to be known to proceed with the analysis of the structure. Degree of kinematic indeterminacy that is dk is given as total possible degree of freedom minus number of available support reactions which generate as a result of restrained joint displacements. Kinematic indeterminacy of a frame is given as dk is equal to 3j minus r plus summation of m prime minus 1 where j is the number of joints, r is the number of reactions, m prime is the number of members meeting at an internal hinge. Now we will calculate the kinematic indeterminacy of the following structures. The frame first is shown and we can see that this frame has five reactions, three at this fixed end and two at this pained end, four joints and there is one internal hinge in this frame. Number of members meeting at this internal hinge are two so M prime will be equal to two. So the value of dk for this frame is equal to eight. So this frame has 8 degrees of freedom. If members are taken inextensible, the value of degree of kinematic indeterminacy of a frame is reduced by the number of members the frame has. We can see that this frame has 3 members, so the value of dk will be 8 minus 3, which is 5. For frame 2, we can see that this frame has 3 reactions, 8 joints, and there are two internal hints in this frame. Number of members meeting at both of these internal hints are two, so M prime will be two and two. The value of DK for this frame will be equal to 23. It means this frame has 23 degrees of freedom. If members are taken inextensible, the value of DK will be reduced by the number of members this frame has. Always remember that if a, fr if a member has one internal hinge, inextensible member will be counted as two members and if a member has two internal hints inextensible members will be counted as three members we can see that here this member has one internal hinge so they will be counted as two inextensible members the total inextensible member this frame has is equal to eight so value of dk will be 23 minus 8 which is equal to 15. For frame 3, we can see that this frame has 12 reactions, 11 joints, and there is one internal hinge in this frame. Number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 4, so M prime will be equal to 4. The value of dk for this frame will be equal to 24. So this frame has 24 degrees of freedom. If members are taken as inextensible, this frame has 12 members, so value of dk will be 24 minus 12, which is equal to 12. For frame 4, this frame has 7 reactions, 12 joints and there is no internal hinge in this frame so M prime will be equal to 0. The value of dk for this frame will be equal to 29. This frame has 29 degrees of freedom. If we take members as inextensible, this frame has 15 members so the value of dk will be 29 minus 15 which is equal to 14. For frame 5, this frame has 12 reactions, 10 joints and there are two internal hinges in this frame. We can see that at both of these internal hinges, number of members meeting are 2, so M prime will be 2 and 2. The value of dk for this frame will be equal to 20, it means this frame has 20 degrees of freedom. If we take members as inextensible, we can see that this frame has 10 members, so the value of dk will be reduced by 10, that is, the value of dk will be 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10. For frame 6, we can see that this frame has 12 reactions, 12 joints, and one internal hinge. Number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 2, so M prime will be equal to 2. The value of dk for this frame will be equal to 25. This frame has 25 degrees of freedom. If members are taken as inextensible, this frame contains 12 members, so the value of dk will be 25 minus 12, which is equal to 13. 
For frame 7, we can see that this frame has 6 reactions, 9 joints and 1 internal hinge. Number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 3, so M prime is equal to 3. The value of dk for this frame is equal to 23. It means this frame has 23 degrees of freedom. If we take members as inextensible, dk will be reduced by the number of inextensible members this frame has. So dk will be 23 minus 10, which is equal to 13. For frame 8, this frame has 7 reactions, 6 joints and 1 internal hinge. Number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 2, so M prime is equal to 2. The value of dk for this frame is equal to 12. So it means this frame has 12 degrees of freedom. If members are taken as inextensible, this frame has 5 members. So the value of dk will be 12 minus 5, which is equal to 7. For frame 9, we can see that this frame has 11 reactions, 15 joints and 2 internal hinges. Number of members meeting at both of these internal hinges are 2, so M prime is equal to 2 and 2. The value of dk for this frame is 36. It means this frame has 36 degrees of freedom. If we take members as inextensible, this frame contains 16 inextensible members so the value of dk will be 36 minus 16 which is equal to 20. For frame 10 we can see that this frame has 6 reactions, 10 joints and 2 internal hints and number of uh, members meeting at both of these internal hints are 2 so m prime will be 2 and 2. The value of dk will be equal to 26 it means this frame has 26 degrees of freedom if members are taken as inextensible the value of dk will be reduced by 10 as this frame has 10 inextensible member this horizontal member of the frame at the top will be counted as three members as it contains the two internal hints so the value of dk will be 26 minus 10 which is equal to 16. For frame 11, we can see that this frame has 7 reactions, 9 joints and 2 internal hinges. For this internal hinge, the number of members meeting are 4 and for this internal hinge, number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 2, so M prime will be 4 and 2. The value of dk for this frame will be equal to 24, it means this frame has 24 degrees of freedom. If we take members as inextensible, so this frame contains 9 inextensible members, so the value of dk will be 24 minus 9, which is equal to 15. Finally, for frame 12, we can see that this frame has 8 reactions, 14 joints and 4 internal hints. For these two internal hints, number of members meeting are 4 and for these two internal hints, number of members meeting are 2. So M prime will be 4, 4, 2 and 2. So the value of dk for this frame will be equal to 42. It means that this frame has 42 degrees of freedom. If we take members as inextensible, we can see that this frame has 17 inextensible members. So the value of dk will be 42 minus 17, which is equal to 25. So this is how we can calculate the value of kinematic indeterminacy of a frame. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and if you find my videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share my video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.